right, so we got another Star Wars Vintage series for you guys today. Uh, this one, of course, is Darth Vader. I guess this is the newest Darth Vader. Darth Vader of the Dark Times. I think this is the one from the uh, from the Obi Wan series. And uh, here we got him. It's uh, VC two forty one. Uh, others in the wave, and I saw a couple of these at the store when I was there. Uh, Boba Fett, Reva, Obi Wan from uh, from Obi Wan series, Anakin. We got Ahsoka's clone trooper, Din Djarin, obviously Darth Vader, and the Mandalorian Super Commando, which I did pick him up as well. So looks pretty good there in the package. Love this old school packaging. So let's go ahead and crack him open. All right, so we have them out of the package here. Let's look at accessories here real quick first. So first up, he does come with a lightsaber, obviously. It's Darth Vader, gotta have a lightsaber. Uh, he also comes with uh, this little um, uh, lightsaber here where the blade is not extended out. And then of course he comes with a couple extra hands here. It's kind of hard to see there. We've got a little fisted left hand, a little kind of pointing right hand there. I'll probably just leave the hands that come on it, put those away, but from the perspective of somebody who collects six inch and seven inch figures, getting anything other than just a weapon is pretty cool. So you get a couple extra hands and you get an extra lightsaber, pretty sweet there. So as far as figure itself goes, I mean, basic articulation, you know what I mean? Single jointed knees, single jointed elbows. Um, so not a whole lot going on there, but uh, still nice. We do get some uh, back and forth on the feet along with uh, the swivel there. Uh, you do get the uh, the swivel on the knees, and then you get a little bit of swivel, or a lot of swivel actually, there on the thigh. Legs come out pretty good, you know, he's got some rotation at the waist, you got the uh, elbows come up to here. On him, just because of his, uh, his armor there, you know, his arms come up okay, but not all the way, and then of course he's do he does have his swivel on his head and the ball joint and all that kind of stuff, so good decent articulation on him. and. Uh, as far as uh, sculpt and everything goes, I mean, it looks like freaking Darth Vader. I will say on mine, and it's probably like this on all of them, the cape really needs to kind of, you know, loosen up a bit. It's been folded up behind him like this in the package. So uh, maybe a little uh, a little heat applied to this will help uh, smooth it out a little bit. <clears throat> but you got the nice cloth cape there. You got the uh, cloth, whatever this thing is called, I don't even remember. But uh, other than that, details are really good, really solid on this. I like the, the fact we've got the more matted tones here with the shininess of the armor. Uh, you do got the two-tone there on the armor, which is nice. we got a good head sculpt there, and it might be hard to see, but his eyes are actually a little bit red, which kind of is the throwback to the original, uh, the original goggles he had on his suit. And everything else is there, man. I mean, you've got all the nice details and everything. It looks really good. Really, really nicely detailed figure for a three and three quarter inch figure. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get him set up with some other figures and uh, we'll kind of see how he stacks up with them. All right, so we'll throw him up against some other like actual vintage series figures here from like the 1970s and 1980s, of course, with the exception of the Boba Fett there at the back, which is a, a custom. Uh, but we've got uh, Stormtrooper, Custom Boba, Greedo, and then of course, we've got the original Darth Vader from 1978, and uh, you can see lots of differences there. And obviously, this isn't a very old figure, and articulation is different, and everything else. Still cool to have the old school, like legitimate vintage one. Uh, but they look really good together. I mean, obviously, this is a newer, modern figure, so it's going to look better. But still, uh, you know, it's still nice to see those two right next to each other. I like that they're basically the same height. Um, yeah, it looks really good. Okay, so real quick, just for some six-inch scale comparisons, obviously we've got a couple of Black Series figures here. We've got Ahsoka, and then, of course, we've got Darth Vader. This one is my uh, 40th anniversary Darth Vader. I believe that's what it was, 40th anniversary. That came in with the special bubble card packaging, kind of like the old-school retro packaging. And, yeah, he's definitely going to have more detail than the smaller figure. Uh, and the cape just looks a little nicer because it's bigger, more material, so it sits nicer, that kind of thing. But... I mean, these two look really, really similar as far as just sculpt and detail. Like, the fact that you can get that level of detail on a figure that small, three to three quarter inches, is really nice. All right, and lastly, we got him thrown up here with uh, one of my old school 1980, whatever it was, retro vehicles here. We've got the uh, Bespin Cloud car, and obviously he fits in perfectly with this. 
All right, so let's talk about price here, guys. I picked this guy up at Walmart for $9.97. In fact, they had most of the whole new wave that this guy came out of for that price. Uh, there was a couple they were missing, but $9.97, that's a hard deal to beat. Now, I have seen this guy online at other places going for $13 to $14. Bucks, and, uh, you know, so I would just say go to Walmart and pick him up for $10 save a little bit of money but yeah this dude's really cool as i said in my last video this uh this vintage collection line which i'm very late to the party on so far has really impressed me and especially when you factor in price and the value you're getting with sculpt and paint and detail and even articulation uh for 10 bucks 15 bucks give or take in that price range for most of the figures man it's a hell of a deal and definitely something that you guys should be checking out